Saudi Aramco bumps Apple to become the world's most valuable company, and Bitcoin drops to a 16-month low. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. Saudi Aramco's market cap has surpassed Apple to become the world's most valuable company at $2.43 trillion, while the American tech giant's market value stands at $2.37 trillion. Aramco's share price hiked by 28% year-to-date to hit 12 percent dollars and 13 cents supported by the ramifications of the ukraine war and energy price hikes the oe's inaugural government bond auction got bids totaling 2.5 billion dollars and was oversubscribed 6.3 times the first auction of durham denominated t-bonds is part of the 9 billion durham t-bonds issuance program for 2022 a series of periodic auctions will follow the initial auction the securities will be first issued in two three and five year terms with a 10-year bond later Later. Mubadala posted a record income of $33 billion in 2021, a 69.4 percent surge year on year. Officials say Abu Dhabi's sovereign fund successfully exploited favorable macroeconomic trends and buoyant markets, marking the sixth year in a row of increase in income for the fund. The fund's assets under management jumped 16.89 percent to $284.5 billion at the end of 2020. Investments climbed 15.74 percent to 34 billion dollars. Bitcoin fell to its lowest level in 16 months today, continuing to fall alongside risk assets like tech stocks and dragged down by the collapse of TerraUSD, the so-called stablecoin which lost its dollar peg this week. The world's largest crypto dropped to the $27,000 range, its lowest since January 2021. The 27 percent wipeout has taken $11,000 off its price in about a week. U.S. stocks fell and the dollar held firm as data showed U.S. inflation persistently high and investors worry about the economic toll of aggressive interest rate hikes to tame it. While annual inflation slowed slightly in April, consumer prices are up 8.3 percent over the last 12 months. After the data was published, all three major indices dropped. The Nasdaq slumped 3.2 percent behind big drops in Apple, Meta and other tech firms. The S&P closed 1.7 percent lower and the Dow closed 1% lower. Walt Disney Company's revenue climbed 23% to hit $19.2 billion in the second half of its fiscal year 2022. The entertainment giant reported better than expected subscription numbers for Disney Plus, picking up 7.9 million new subscribers in the quarter ended April 2, 2022. Its flagship streamer, which launched in November 2019, has a total of 137.7 million customers, up 33% year on year. Let's take a look now at today's Forbes Real-Time Billionaires ranking. It tracks the daily ups and downs of the world's richest people. Our biggest loser today is Elon Musk, down $15.7 billion with net wealth of $224.5 billion. Our second biggest loser today is Gautam Adani, down $5.1 billion with net wealth of $106.5 billion. And our third place loser is Jeff Bezos, down $3.5 billion with net wealth of $131.2 billion. Check out our website and our social media for all of the latest billionaires news. I'm Ramya Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.